So we're going to be taking a look at the inertial sensor inside of the VEX EXP brain. And what I have here is I have a, uh, a brain that has the controller wirelessly connected. And now we're going to be starting the drive program. So we're going to go ahead, if we're at the home menu, we just click on the uh, check mark for drive. And then we click the check mark again uh, for the drive program to start. Okay, now notice that we have a lot, bunch of tabs here. So we have heading, velocity, 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 velocity. Those are, the velocity tabs represent the four motors that are plugged into the uh, brain, this being the clawbot build. If it was the base bot, you just have two motors. If it was some uh, custom build, you might have other number of motors. The first one where we have heading and degrees, that's the inertial sensor inside of the VEX brain. So let's go ahead and take a look. So with that highlighted, we're going to click the check. And let's take a look at what we have here. So, so if we take kind of a closer look here, uh, notice that we have heading, rotation, roll, pitch, and yaw. So if we take a look from just from top to bottom, heading, rotation, and yaw are kind of uh, uh, connected here. If we look, you can see that right now, heading, rotation, and yaw are all kind of the same. We have like right around zero, 0 0.5 or six, Right, uh, and as we go, if you notice, if I just go ahead and pick this up and we just go ahead and turn the robot a bit, notice that now heading is 345, rotation is negative 15, and yaw is, is negative 15. If I, if I rotate it the other way, so we're rotating around the z-axis, notice that now heading is 16 or 17, and yaw is seven, 16 or 17, and heading is also 16 or 17. So you'll notice that those are kind of similar until we do a couple different things, okay? Now let's say that we were driving and we did a 360 degree turn. So we basically took the robot and we spun it all the way around here, okay? And then we had it turn all the way around and let's see what happened here. Okay, so now what we have is we have our heading uh, is now, uh, you know, if our heading we goes all the way back here, our heading is now at zero. Our rotation is at just over 360 degrees. Our yaw now is back to essentially what our heading is, right? So, uh, so if we go back, notice that, so what we can gather from this is that yaw is kind of a stationary rotation, right? It never goes above 360. It goes all the way up to 359 and then goes back to zero, right? So that's basically a kind of a stationary uh, rotation of the robot from from some arbitrary zero point at the start of the program uh, and then we have rotation which is kind of adds up right so if we do another 360 right so we do another 360 and our rotation is now at 712 okay whereas our heading is constant as well so our heading basically uh, our heading kind of stays stationary also uh, from from a beginning point Notice the yaw goes to negative. Okay, so I, I said that <laughs> I said that yaw was a uh, zero to three sixty, but actually yaw goes negative all the way to negative one eighty. And then counts back up from one eighty. Okay, so that is our uh, that is uh, heading, rotation, and yaw. Okay, then what is roll and pitch? So roll is basically when the robot notice that if we roll, we're going back and forth, right? So it's our rotation around the uh, the y axis, okay? And then uh, uh, pitch is going to be up and down. That's our, our rotation around, I believe, the x axis. Okay, so basically the front of the robot's going up, right? The front of the brain is going up. Uh, the pitch is going up, the front of the robot is going down, uh, then pitch is going down, okay? All right, so there we have it. We have heading, rotation, roll, pitch, and yaw. Now, the last thing that we'll show here is that basically if we want to zero this out, so let's say that we want, we're driving, you know, we're driving to a certain point, okay? And now we've gotten to some point in our, uh, our autonomous function and we wanna zero it out, we can do that. So if we click this green check, we can do it manually, uh, or we can do it in our program. So basically, if we click the green check, it'll go back to calibrating. And now we basically have reset our zero of our heading, rotation, uh, and yaw there. Okay, 
so uh, all of these things are available uh, when you're programming as well. Okay, so even so we can look at it during when we have the drive program running. We can also access all of these variables uh, inside of our programs, uh, but it's important to take a look and understand them uh, before we access them inside the program. Best of luck. Thank you.